Right. Hey guys, my name is Ashimar, and today I'll be starting a series of complete leveling using Poison Concoction for beginners. Follow the guide in order to find success in the upcoming 3.17 expansion league. Enjoy! First thing you want to do as usual is pick up your bow and slot in the burning arrow and proceed to the chest where you will receive your first support gem. Then slot it in and proceed killing Hillock. Once that's done, enter the town and head straight to Tarkley. Here you want to pick up a caustic arrow. This is the skill that we will be using from level 1 to 12. Replace Burning Arrow with Caustic Arrow and go to the coast. Here you don't want to kill many mobs because they give little to no experience. Just rush to activate the waypoint and enter the mud flats. Collect the three glyphs while killing enough mobs to get to 3.5 levels. Once you enter the submerged passage, take the waypoint back to the coast and from here enter the tidal island. Kill Hailrake and take the medicine chest. You should be level 4 at this point. Open the teleport or log out. However, logging out on Leakstart Day may be risky as you may be placed back into the queue. Talk to NASA and get Quicksilver Flask. Then get Mirage Archer from her, talk to Tarkley and get Puncture Gem and also take Dash. Once again scan his inventory for any three green links. Link Mirage Archer and Caustic Arrow together. If you already have a three link, add in Pierce support. At this point your tree should look like this. Way back to the submerged passage and go ahead and look for a cave that leads to the flooded depth. Kill the nasty crab by using the rotation of caustic arrow and pierce and then teleport back to base. Instead of talking to NPCs, go straight to the waypoint and go back to the submerged passage. Here you want to go where you went later last time, however the bridge that leads to the ledge will always be on the left of the cave that leads to the flooded depth. This can save you a lot of time looking for it. Once at the ledge, run by the mobs and don't focus on killing too many, as it takes quite some time and we want to be as efficient as possible. Once you get to the climb, activate waypoint and go north. Get these points and proceed killing another mini boss. Ah yes, Navali. I'm so glad I won't be hearing any of your annoying shit anytime soon. In the lower prison, take the waypoint and do the first lab. You don't want to come back searching for this later on. Enter upper prison and kill Brutus. But be careful. He does a shit ton of damage. Once he's dead, waypoint back to town. Pick up void manipulation support. And also purchase lesser multiple projectiles and volley. Talk to Tarkley and get a smoke mine. It is by far more efficient than dash but if you prefer dash, then you do you. Farewell. Alright, kill tree checkup. Waypoint back. And go to the shift graveyard. Activate waypoint here and skill these points. Then enter the shipyard grave. Not up to that just yet. Here you don't have to kill the boss, just take the green item and head to the exit. Now you want to look for fair graves. 
give him the all flame for whatever reason he wants to kill us but just kill him instead you were a good man in a bad situation fair graves good man in a bad situation huh we're almost done with act one at this point just find the exit to the cavern of wrath and take the waypoint to town Talk to Besto to get your book, then talk to Nessa and get the poisonous concoction. Keep in mind that you won't be able to use the poisonous concoction unless you're unarmed, meaning you cannot have a weapon equipped, only a shield. Swap out the gems to have the following, poisonous concoction, void manipulation and lesser multiple projectiles. But make sure you slot volley in somewhere. So it will still earn experience, so that when you get your foreign link, you'll be able to use all four skill gems efficiently. This will be our main gem setup throughout the first four acts. Get these points, and this should be our final tree for Act 1. Way back to the Cavern of Wrath, and head straight to kill Mervale. And there we go, path to act 1 is now open and you can feel free to enter it. This is gonna be it for part 1. If you guys are looking forward to part 2, leave a like, leave a comment and let me know that you're desperate to know the further leveling process of this build. My name is Ashimar, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.